here, and we're going to show you a little bit about batch files. As I am going to create a directory and make a batch file for you today. It's going to take a little bit of time, so if you just want to just kind of skip around, that's completely fine. But also, I do not take. Um, it's also your responsibility to use this properly. I am not responsible for any damages or any computer loss of files that are important using command prompt. This is for educational purposes only. This is not, I'm not out to harm anybody's computer. I'm not going to be showing how to harm anybody's computer. I'm just going to be showing you an easier way or an alternative way to make files, make programs that you can have them run. So what we're going to be showing you today is we're going to be making a batch file. And first of all, we're going to we are already in the, we are already in the directory, but to change your directory to the right one, we'll just do this again. Um, users, and you press tab, and it just auto corrects. Then you can type C, press tab again, and it'll automatically find your user. You can always double check your user. I'll show you how to do that. Just press the Start menu. I just search for Control, wait, T, Control Panel, and then you go to where is it? System, and then usually you can find your. If you have, if it hasn't changed, usually you can find your computer name there. Also, there's one more other way that you can find it. You can go under OS or C Drive. You can go under Users, and you can see which one is yours or which one do you log in with. I have one, so it's this one. So my, they're a little different because I change. I must change the name after I did this. So you go to your username and then I go to documents. I just auto correct it so I don't if I spell it wrong. And then I'm gonna create right, so we just want to go there for now. Now we're already there. Now we want to make a directory in order like it's making another folder and that's gonna be users. Oops. Oops. Darn it. I accidentally press enter. My fault. And then we want to do users. Users. And then me. And just do tab. Quick. And then we do D O C U M E N T. And then I want to do B A T C H. To do batch files demo. And then it created, and then we're going to change directory. I think you can use slash slash. Bad, oops, just, just do slash batch. Oopsie. C U M E N T S. Nope. Damn. It's not what I want. Slash C O L J Y. No, I guess not. Users. Hold a doc. Oopsie. Documents. Batch files demo. Now it's in the batch files demo is where the program is looking in. So now I want to create a note pad with the name of one dot bat. Okay, so then it says it cannot find the file one dot bat, and do you want to create a new file? And then you click yes, and then there is your batch file. Now, the first thing you want to start off your batch file with, in order to not, order so people don't see the commands when it's done, is you can type at. In the first, you type cls, so it clears the screen. Then you type, you know, it's the wrong order. You put the at symbol and then you do you see H O off. And then you do CLS to clear the screen right after that. Then you can add a few spaces if you want. Um today I'm gonna be making um a menu. So we're just kind of be showing you the basic of making a menu is you can make it as pretty as you want, but it's gonna be basic. So what I'm gonna do is you can add a few lots here, and then you can add another dot. That will be one column. You see, echo again. 
Oops. And then you can add Spaces, whoops. And then, then you keep going. Add a plus there. Put a one there. I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna quickly go through this fast so we can just get to the end here. Okay, so now we just saw what we we did there. Now we're just gonna kind of put this file and execute it in command prompt. Whoops. Doesn't want to execute, but oh, because I didn't save it. So file save. Sorry about that. Um, one dot bat, and so far it worked good. It showed up the the menu there as I typed it there so and there's no the reason why if I take this if I take for example if I'm I'm just gonna put R R E M in front of this now it won't it won't see that or so also put R E M in front of this and now it won't see that so if I run that same file again it doesn't look right because now it has all the all the commands with it. So you can say as slash users slash cool slash document slash best files demo slash echo and then it has that line and it just keeps going on like that. But I take off the clear uh, the okay, I'm gonna take these and both off. Now if I remove the at symbol, you think I don't need an at symbol, right? I'm just gonna clear the screen. Whoops. Clear the screen for you. Well, I didn't save it, that's why. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, maybe not. I'm still putting the at symbol in there because of the at symbol. Make sure that it doesn't show echo off, is what it does. Now, to make the final part in it, you're going to have to add the variable the variable thing in it. So, the variable does is, um, it, first of all, um, you have to do, um, set slash p like I showed before here um, one second I'm gonna have to just take a look and where okay so it, the slash the slash p um, again sets um, equals and in parentheses you put and then what I do I put a few spaces in there just so there's a little room and everybody can see it now and then you're gonna have to set up the if commands, and I'm not 100% sure about how this works again. If my var equals equals my var equals, I think then you go one. Oops, my variable equals one. 
And then I'm just going to say go go to just go to um cal c a l c go to calc and then you do another one that if my oops v a r equals percent two to go to n o t e if this can be as long as you want with as many variables as you please um, e for exit I don't know why but that's how I'm putting it just go to exit and then for some reason if this does not work then you also want to type in C H O wait and one more thing here because we want to put this at menu M E N U menu just because we want we also want to go back up there because the next thing we type is is the same thing Then we're just do a pause here, so they have to click enter again. Then we go. Let me go. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do CLS, and then we're gonna go. Go. Go to. Go to. Let me and you. Then we can start creating our variables. Which first one is C A. LC. But first thing before I start variables, I just want to experiment to see how far this thing is working. So we can type. Okay, so we got the menu, calculator, notepad, and exit. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in 3. Equals what's unexpected at this time. Oh crap. Now we have a little problem. These are quite often. We've always experimented with these. Maybe we need two equals, I think. I think. Whoa. Oops. Okay, let's try that now. Just want to save it every time. Whoops. Okay, so we just put in like one. Well, that didn't work. So now we know that for some reason it didn't pick up the variables, and which we're going to have to correct that somehow. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put parentheses around the one there, and we're going to do one again. Didn't work. So there's going to be have to be a slight fix. Um, let's see if we just do that. And I also want to save it. Let's see. Well, let's. Okay, I'm gonna do one again. Didn't work. So it doesn't recognize one or two. So then, what you're gonna have to do is look at. The, sometimes you can look at the what the quest the help command, or it could be also the question command. But sometimes it might not really help you. Sometimes the best idea is just to, if you have notes down, or if you should be writing notes, something like that, I guess. <laughs> you should, um, if you're writing notes, you should be putting them down. Um, okay, I have I have notes here, so I kind of figured it out here. So I'm gonna put these parentheses.
in my variable in parentheses. And then we want to take these out. Now if we save this, it should work. One. Okay, so it did work because now it brought us to the end. I believe it did work. So let's try that one more time. One dot bat and let's type in four. Whoops, not stop no. Four. Now it says, please enter a correct option of 1, 2, or E. Let's also try E. Well, it couldn't find, it couldn't find the batch labels with specified exit, but all you only know is it didn't work. So, what we have to do next is we have to open the programs. So, in order to do that, it's pretty simple. What it's going to do for a calculator, you just go to and then you can always make it go um, make a go to exit. I'm gonna make a go to exit all the time too. Um, then we're gonna do N O T, and then this one is. Whoops. Exit, and then we want to do X I T, and then I'm going to do pause in order a U S C, and then you can type the command exit which will in turn close close the command prompt when the process is officially done and has worked so what we're going to do is we're going to now we're going to test each one of these just to make sure it worked but what I'm going to do is exit I'm going to I'm just going to do go to menu for right now just because in order to want to get back. Then I do one. There's the calculator. And oops, lost it. Okay. Then you exit out of it and you press any key, key to continue. Whoops, not there. Come on. And then it brings up it brings up the option again. And well I'll do um, type in number two. And there's your notepad. Or there's another instance of notepad. I did number two, and now you do E. Now it says press any key to continue. It doesn't launch anything. And there you go. That is a basic command file. And I'm just going to put exit on this, just so it exits out. And what I'm going to do, save this over time. Type E. So you can continue, and there it X's out, and there is your first batch file. If you would like a copy of this batch file, you can just contact me in my, my channel or on Skype or any other means of method. Um, if you would like me to show you more command prompt ways, and I can get really advanced for you. Well, for example, what you can do is you and um, take this batch file and have it run on a schedule and have it run like if you wanted to delete a certain file or delete the recycle bin like every three days you can do that and that's completely up to you so if you would like to see more videos of this I'm making a series out of this if you'd like to see more videos just like and subscribe and we'll see you later thank you for watching uh, batch files commands and this is part one and part two will be coming out shortly